So Cardi B, um, so she was trying to fight Cardi B. Um, how was it? How, how, I'm not a bankruptcy lawyer, so I'm gonna try to explain as best as possible. But she was trying to fight Cardi B in bankruptcy because she filed a chapter, um, a chapter seven. But it was a chapter seven where you don't have to go to a board. It's either chapter seven or chapter eleven, but whatever it is. It's a chapter where you, you you don't have to go to a board. They just put you in a program and you don't have to pay 90% of your stuff. That, it's something of that nature. I'm not a bankruptcy lawyer, but I'm just trying to explain it to the best of my knowledge. So then what she did was, what Tasha K did was, she lied on her bankruptcy paperwork because you have to be under um, $7.5 million. I think it was chapter 11, I'm sorry. Um, but it's sub five. So you have to be under $7.5 million, right? So Cardi B was suing her for $4 million. Then she had other miscellaneous stuff. So she would have been good. She wouldn't have to go to no board, no nothing. It would have been a clean bankruptcy. And she probably wouldn't have even had to pay Cardi B. If if she did, it would have been slim to none. It would have been that $4 million. But what she did was, what Tasha K did was, she lied on her bankruptcy papers and put me in as a debt for $360,000, which would keep her underneath 7.5 million. But Cardi B's lawyer called my lawyer and was like, yo, is this 360? We was like, no, it's not 360, 360,000. It's 360 million. So once they told the judge that, then that's when it had to go to a board. And I'm, I hope I'm explaining it right legally, but it had to go to a board and that's why she lost. And that's why she had to pay Cardi B that money and bankruptcy don't protect protect her from that Cardi B thing. However, with my lawsuit, it puts a stay on my lawsuit until further stuff happened with her bankruptcy because she's already in bankruptcy. So.